What's up guys, this is Damien with Hosh Online, and today we're going to take a look at Dead Trigger from Phosphorus Games. Uh, we're going to be reviewing this on, the, on Android, although it's available also for iOS. You know, we, we focus a lot on just like rooting and hacking and all these things that we can do to enhance our phones. But, you know, this is a, a video for when you just want to enjoy the device that you've uh, picked up and spent your hard earned money on. You know, some people like playing uh, mobile games. I, I'm a big mobile gamer. Um, I actually, I'm a big console gamer also, and I'm trying to put it, put together a channel for you guys. Uh, but it's probably not going to happen until the fall. But, uh, you know, what you always have your phone. You always have your device on you. So that's why you know I'm in turn a, a mobile gamer also. But uh, let's get into this review of of Dead Trigger from Phosphorus Games. Now. Dead Trigger brings together a console quality shooter, but uh, you know, for mobile. And it, it both uh, works on phones and tablet, and like I said, for iOS and Android. And the game has awesome graphics, and the gameplay is great. It's def it definitely leans more towards hardcore gaming than casual gaming. The objective of the game is to destroy zombies while completing various tasks, such as protecting your friends or securing zones or gathering supplies for different groups that you meet throughout the game. By destroying zombies, you, you're awarded uh, money and gold, and that money and gold you can use to level up. And uh, so basically you can buy new guns, new items, uh, character items, in order to be able to, uh, you know, have a, have, a, have a little bit easier of a time during the, uh, the actual game now the game I wouldn't say it's hard but it definitely gets intense and you know when you're surrounded by zombies behind you left right you know it definitely gives you that feeling that you're 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 being in a, you're playing a hardcore game uh, and not like you know a mobile game like you know I, I want to throw a, a game out there like Angry Birds or something you know although Angry Birds and games like that are fun but it, it definitely is not the same like experience you would get with a console quality game and that's the experience that you get with Dead Trigger one of the few things that I disliked about Dead Trigger was the fact that that if you try to play this game straight through you're definitely gonna have a harder time completing the game than uh, if you purchase actual upgrades and things like that. It's definitely not going to be as easy for you because, and this gets to my point of, of what I dislike about it, it costs 99 cents, but it also, you know, you can buy guns and different power-ups. Now, the rate at which you're able to just buy new, new weapons or character items is a lot faster than you would acquire the money to be able to do that within the game. And I think that it's, it's set up, you know, it, it's set up that way, you know, so that you'll spend money. I would have loved for them to maybe make it a more expensive version of the game, maybe $7.99 or $6.99, that you didn't have to purchase all these items and the game, game can kind of like stand on its own. But, you know, it, it's a little bit annoying, but it definitely doesn't take away from the fun factor of the game because this game is definitely very fun. Uh, I, on a t it, it's supported uh, by both phone and tablet, uh, and I'm showing you here on the Galaxy S3, the Evo 4G LTE, and the HP touchpad. And I did notice a little bit of stuttering uh, on the touchpad, so... I'm not sure, you know, if that's just because you you know that the touchpad is is a, a hacked together Android machine. So I'm not sure if that you know if you have an older tablet, maybe you'll run into some of those same problems. Now, you know, it does not also for you Tegra uh, Tegra owners Tegra three whatever Tegra two whatever Tegra version of a tablet that you have or phone there there isn't any extra graphics or animations or whatever for Tegra supported devices. Um, now you do have the ability to go into settings and crank up the uh, graphics levels uh, from low to mid to high and it does make a difference on the device that you're on. Um, I'm running it on high on both the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the Evo 4G LTE and the uh, HP touchpad. When I lowered the graphics on the touchpad I did notice 
uh, a comp uh, not complete, but a slight, you know, uh, performance boost as far as smoothness goes. So you might want to keep that. Um, you might want to keep that in mind when when you're uh, playing with the graphics levels. But you know, in this Galaxy S3 and this Evo 4 GLT, of course, are Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 chips that are dual core and they run perfectly. So you know, I'm guessing that you know uh, the Tegra 3 version of the uh, one x or the exynos uh quad core version of the galaxy s3 will probably have no problem uh running this at all but overall this is a great game guys uh, it's actually probably my favorite dare i say it my favorite mobile game to date i mean I, i've really been putting in some time on this game and, and getting busy on it but um you know, you owe it to yourself to at least check it out for 99 cents. You really can't go wrong. Uh, you won't be disappointed. For, like I said, for 99 cents, we'll, we'll, even if it didn't uh, give you everything that you wanted out of a mobile game, I mean, it's a it's a buck. You spend that on coffee every day. So go ahead and check it out. Um, it gives my, my stamp of approval, and it runs pretty good didn't really have any problems running it on any device just other than the the hiccups i said that rarely took place on the hp touchpad so you guys this is this has been my overview of dead trigger for the i won't say because it should run the same on, on every android device but my review overview of dead trigger for android although it's available for ios but i I don't have an iOS device and it's pretty safe to say that I probably won't be having an iOS device. I'm not biased. I'm not biased. Yes, I am. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't have a problem with iOS. You know, uh, I'm not an Android fanboy who's just going to kill iOS. But you won't you won't see me with an iOS device anytime soon. So if you want to check it out on iOS, it, I'm, I'm sure it runs just as great. And the graphics probably look even better on that retina display. But, you know, check it out. And uh, this has been Damien with Tasha Online, guys. See you next vid. Peace.